Bible Talk with Tom and Shanika, coming from San Antonio, Texas. Amen. 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 We are so glad you tuned yes. into this programming, and we want to know, what are you thankful for? Yes. We are thankful for the blood. Yes. We are thankful for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes. So let us know what you are thankful for. Yes. Leave us a comment, share a praise report, or a prayer request. Whatever it may be, we give all glory, yes. honor yes. to our Lord, Lord and Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen, amen. Amen. Yes, we do. You yes. Oh, Lord. Yes, God. I just want to yes, we do, God. you, Lord. Yes, we do, God. Yes, we do, God. Hey, be your friend. Yes, he has. You've been my yes. friend. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. You've been my to us. I mean, when you said so good, yes. uh, he's been so good. So good. Yes, yeah. he is. And so today's program, we're going to talk about still the goodness of God. The goodness of God. And we're going to see it through the eyes of David. Oh, okay. All King right. David. King David. Yeah. Well, he was David at the time of the story. Uh-huh. Um, and we're going to go into 1 Samuel. Uh-huh. So if you want to read 1 Samuel, um, chapter 26 is kind of where we're going to stay tonight. Okay. All right. Um, in chapter 26. I'm ready. You ready? It's gonna be, I, I know it's going to be a good word. I think so. Yeah. I really think so. Yeah. I do believe, you know, it's a word from the Lord and it's for us today. Yes. 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 It is definitely for us today. Yes. And specifically, we're going to look at David's character. Oh, okay. His character. And I want to use, a borrow a term from former Lady, lady Michelle Obama, First uh, Lady uh -huh, Michelle Obama. Uh -huh. um, when she said, when they go low, uh -huh. we go high. Wow. And wow. so I believe David exemplified that character uh -huh. in this chapter. Well, uh -huh. throughout the whole book of First Samuel. Uh -huh. 
But in this chapter, mm -hmm. his character displayed the character of God. Wow. When wow. people are chasing you and after you and, and trying to kill you, mm -hmm. he he didn't retaliate. Wow. When they went low, when King Saul went low, uh -huh. he stayed high. Wow. I, I, I think God requires us to go high. Absolutely, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a requirement. He, he commands us to go That's high. That's it. That he charge us to it. go high. That is it. Yes, but sometimes it, it sometimes it's, it's a challenge. It is. It really it, is. It, yeah, sometimes it's a challenge. It is. Yeah. It is. So we're going to focus, like I said, on David's character. And I do believe he was on an assignment from God. Uh-huh. The same way we are on an assignment from mm -hmm, God. Mm -hmm. I believe people have been called to do a work for the Lord. Wow. He has given us all spiritual gifts, mm -hmm. giftings, and, and, and we all have a purpose in life. I believe that. And it's for us to walk out our purpose mm. and, and, and walk through the journey, mm -hmm. you know, to get to our destiny. Mm. Our That's destiny, good. I do believe, is in eternal life. But in order to get to eternal life, mm -hmm. there are things that we must go through. Mm, that's good. That's and good. I believe David had to go through. He was on an assignment from God. Mm. And God, you know, my mind went to, um, you know, even on his assignment, how the best way I can, I can put it is, as you're walking through your journey, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, things will happen. Yeah, things absolutely. will happen to you, mm -hmm. but we must rest assured that the battle is not ours. Mm. It mm. belongs to the Lord. It belongs to God. Yes, it does. Mm. It belongs to Him. It belongs to God. Yes. So let's let's go get in the story a little bit. Um, I see it as a movie. You know, I love a good movie. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I really do love a good movie, and to me, this is just a movie played out in the Bible. Mm. So we see in the story, David was running for his life. Mm. Um, this is in chapter 26 and Saul was the king like I said at the time mm -hmm. and he was looking and seeking and searching for David to mm. find David Wow! and while I was studying you know I started asking myself why why would a king look to kill a person who has done nothing to him. Not nothing at all. David had done nothing at all. And my mind went to, you know, like I said, as I was reading the story, it was more of, why would King Saul be after him? Mm. And I think a lot of times, you know, I said in my mind, what did David do? Mm. And I don't know if it's just our human nature mm -hmm. where we automatically feel that somebody has done something wrong, mm -hmm. like David had done something wrong, mm -hmm. but he hadn't. Again, I kept looking, searching the scriptures, trying to figure out what did he do? He, he didn't do nothing, but I think he was he, he considered David a threat. He did. That's it. But David didn't do nothing. Exactly. He did nothing. Exactly. But he considered David a threat. That's it. That's it. Sometimes people will be threatened by you. For no apparent reason. Again, God has given us all gifts. Mm -hmm. So don't be threatened by my gift. Mm -hmm. My gift is different than your gift. Mm -hmm. And your gift is different than mine. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be jealous or envy or covenant your gift. Mm -hmm. So yes, yes. I should never see you as a threat. Because the same God has no respect of person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if he done it for you, mm -hmm. he'll do it for me. Absolutely. But King Saul didn't see it that way. Wow. wow. He did not. And I was like, okay, Lord, you know, I felt the Holy Spirit saying to me, sometimes you're not going to have done anything. Mm. And people will still talk about you. They might lie on you. They might attack you. That's, that's what I don't understand, though. I, I mean, don't either. I, I, mean I, I pray and I ask God all the time, mm -hmm. you know, like like when we started this part, video podcast, right. you know, mm -hmm. it's like, you would think people would be happy that anybody right. would want to go out and spread such a positive, you know, just a just just. I mean, you would think that you would think that, yeah, you know. Exactly. But you got people who literally who would down you and and talk about you for doing right. good. Exactly. I, I just can't. God had to help me with that. A absolutely. You absolutely. know that 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 that's one. When you said go high, right? 
Right. You know, I have to go high. You have to. Because some sometimes we don't understand. But we the don't. Bible said lean not to your own understanding. Exactly. But in all your ways, acknowledge. Acknowledge. Him. And he will direct. And he will direct your path. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, same thing. You know, a lot of times we're not going to understand. And I believe it's not for us necessarily to understand. Like mm-hmm. you said, as long as we're acknowledging God mm-hmm. and we are being obedient to what God has told us to do, mm-hmm. that's all we can do. Mm-hmm. Because in this chapter, you know, like I said, David had done nothing wrong. Mm. But I felt the Holy Spirit telling me, Shanika, same thing with us. Don't worry. Mm. Have no fear. Wow. Because if God is for you, then who who can can be be against you? Who can be, yeah. Yeah. And David showed us that. If God is for you, Mm -hmm. then who can Can be be against you? you? Yes. God said he would never leave us nor forsake us. Yes, he did. No matter what King King Saul did, Mm -hmm. mm -mm. it never prospered. Mm. He was searching. He had 3,000 men looking for David. Mm. He never found him. Wow. He never prospered. And, and I was thinking, you know, the Holy Spirit was telling me also, again, I think I said it, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Mm, but God will. But God, there's yeah. another promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But God yeah. will deliver us from them all. From them all. So know that you you may might not have done anything. Mm. It's okay. Yeah, wow. That's just an affliction that you have to go through. On this journey, mm-hmm. on this assignment that God has you on to make it to your destiny. Mm, wow, that's good. Yeah, and that's how I look at. It. I look mm-hmm. at it. I look at it as as three different groups of people. Okay. You gonna have the first group. Okay. Who gonna support you? Right. Who gonna lift you up? Right. Encourage you? Right. I had people from work and people from home and mm-hmm. just. People I don't even know. Right. So it's great job. You know, you and your wife, y'all doing something awesome. Right. You know, they pushing you. Absolutely. Then you got another group of people. Mm-hmm. They just don't, they don't care. Right. They don't want to support you. They, and that's fine. And that's fine. It's right. the third group that Jesus. talk down, you know, that, right. that, that's this group that I need you to help me with tonight. Right. <laughs> Come on, let's dig into this word. Well, we're going to help each other. Yeah, we're absolutely. here to encourage each other yes. and help each other. Yes. And my word to you is, it's going to be all right. Yeah. yeah. It will be all right. Yeah. You cannot focus on them because you can't please everybody. Mm-hmm. As long as you're doing the will of the Father, mm-hmm. as long as you're pleasing God, that's all you can do. And, and a lot of people in in this arena that we in, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people have it misconstrued okay. about what success is. Mm, okay. Success in this arena, what we're doing is one soul. That's it. Just Jesus. one. If you if you can transform, help Jesus. transform. If God can use you Jesus. to just get one. One soul. Just one. Right. We already have been successful. That's it. That is it. Yeah. It's about bringing people to the kingdom. Absolutely. And if what we say or do can change one soul. Yes, yes. Make them go back and rethink, okay, something's not right. Mm-hmm. I need to go back and reevaluate my relationship with God mm-hmm. and get closer to God. Mm-hmm. I need to get in my word a little bit more. Yes, yes. So I can rightly divide the word of truth. Yes. And grow in my relationship with Christ. That's all we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. That's good. We have done our, our assignment. Absolutely. I believe that. We've Absolutely. done our assignment. Mm-hmm. I do believe that. That's good. Yeah. So... Um, like I said, David was running from Saul uh-huh. and I'm going to paraphrase. These are my words. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and, um, you know, I want to bring highlight to certain verses uh-huh. in, in chapter 26, okay. because I think some of it, it just stood out to me. Uh-huh. Like I said, um, it talks about how King Saul had 3000 men. Mm-hmm. And it said elite soldiers. Mm. So he had the best of the best with him. Wow. Whereas David only had 600 men with him, soldiers with him. Wow. And so in this chapter, again, Saul is looking for David. Mm-hmm. And they take a break. They rest for mm-hmm. the night. Mm-hmm. They set up camp. Mm-hmm. And David realized that Saul has set up camp He in the wilderness where he's at. Uh-huh. So David goes to his men and say, okay, who wants to go with me uh-huh. to the camp so we can spy out Saul's camp? Uh-huh. And it was one of his men 
that said, I'll go with you. Wow. Now, my mind kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would have... <laughs> exactly. Kept my hand down. First, you was already... Billy, you can go. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're already outnumbered, Charles. Yeah. 3,000 to 2. Exactly. And, and not 3,000 to 600. It's right. 3,000 to 2. Now it's 2. two. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, you know, I said, okay, is this faith? Or is this foolishness? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, yeah. was it his faith mm. in God to say, I'm going to go to the enemy's camp mm. and and seek out and inspire and, 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 and see what they're doing? Wow. Who does that? Mm. <laughs> That's a man after God's heart. That's it. Yeah. He knew who God was. Yeah. And I believe he knew who he was in Christ. Mm -hmm. That the battle wasn't his. It belonged to the yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. And no weapon that was formed against him would prosper. Absolutely. Absolutely. I believe he knew that. Absolutely. He had to have yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That crazy faith. I think we got crazy faith. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. What do you think? That's... <laughs> I probably would have kept my hand. <laughs> right, absolutely. Yeah, I probably even kept... the, the one person that went with him. Yeah, wow, that's good. It is good. Yeah. And so it, the story goes: when they got to the camp, uh -huh. um, they saw them sleeping. Uh -huh. They're all sleeping. And the man that was with David, uh -huh. he said, "You know, David." Um, he asked David, "Should I kill him?" Hmm. They're asleep. They don't even know we're here. And David was like, no. Um, this is in verse 9. He said, no. Mm. Don't, don't. Here, I'll read it. David said, don't destroy him. For who can lift a hand against the Lord's anointed wow. and be innocent? Mm. And I was like, Jesus. So if you retaliate, you become just as guilty as they are. Wow. So people that are talking about you, mm -hmm. that third group of people who you were talking about, I'm just as guilty. You become just as guilty when you go low, mm -hmm. when you get down in the ditches with them, mm -hmm. when you comment back on Facebook, when you tweet something back, when you say something back, you become just as guilty. So when you go, <laughs> when you don't go high, that's it. When you go low, right? You also become a footstool. You do. Wow. You do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. He said he'll make our enemies what? Our footstool. Yeah. We do. So we he, want, he want to keep us high. He want to keep them low. That's the character of God. Wow. That's good. He He's always high. Yeah. He doesn't stoop down and go low. And David, the one who said that mm -hmm. in, in Psalms 110 and 1. What was that? That he that God will make the enemies oh, your footstool. footstool. Mm -hmm. See, he knew so. He was on to Absolutely. something. Absolutely. Absolutely. He was on to something. Every time uh, uh, God delivered. Uh-huh. Saw into his hand That's and it. said, Do as you wish. Right. He was on to something. He was. He knew. Exactly. That God was gonna take care of him. Right, right. God was gonna fight his battle. Right. And Let's that's what it. we have to do. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. have to trust and believe that our God will take care of us. Because he see the he see the whole picture. That's it. He don't see just what's going on right now. Right. God sees the whole picture. Yes, he does. Because he Alpha and Omega. And Omega. That's it. So he can look from the beginning. <laughs> That's it, he, he can look. He can see from the beginning. To the and end. And he can also see at the end. Right. Right. Wow. And I'll go a little bit further. Mm -hmm. He's the author. Mm -hmm. And finisher. And the finisher of our faith. Wow. So he wrote the story. He wrote the story. And he's going to finish the story. Wow. Wow. That's good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If we put our trust in him... And lean not to our own understanding. Mm. Don't go low. Take the high road. You stay high when they go low. Mm. And I was like, Lord, I thank you for fighting my battles. Mm. I think a lot of stuff we put on ourselves, unnecessary stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's unnecessary. And God said, let me handle it. Have there been, been a time you could think of an example when mm -hmm. you, you took the high road? I just did it the other day. Uh-huh. Driving, I, yeah, in San Antonio, yeah, <laughs> road rage, yes, you have to take the high road, right? I mean, I'm lit, they be trying to pull me over, cussing right. me out, right? You know, and I just, I'm sorry, you right. know, and try to, right. you know, absolutely keep my eyes focused on the road. I bet it happened all the time, oh, yeah. 
Oh, all yeah. the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just have to continue to take the high road. That's it. That's yeah. it. Same with me, you know, driving and even at work. You know, sometimes people will, when people make a mistake, a mm -hmm. lot of times they don't want to admit to it mm. and own up to it. So they'll blame you for their mistake. Wow. Wow. And as a leader, what I've learned and as a supervisor, you know, even if it's not your mistake, you still have to take the high road. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you just own up to it, especially if one of your troops did it. Mm -hmm. You know, you bear the brunt. Hey, I got it. Okay, yeah. It's, it was my fault. I'll That's take the blame on this one. That's good. Yeah, you just mm -hmm. take the high road. Okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I know what to do next time mm -hmm. or what not to do next time. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We have to do that. It's a must. And so in verse 10, I like 10 as well, kind of stood out to me, babe. Um, David added, as the Lord lives, the Lord will certainly strike him down. Mm. So he just reminded me, God will take care of it. Wow. God will fight your battle. He will fight the battle. Absolutely. Even at work. Shanika, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. the, the truth will come out. Mm -hmm. The truth will prevail. Yep. In the end, mm -hmm. oh yeah, it will. So David said three things will happen. He said, as the Lord lives, mm -hmm. the Lord will certainly strike him down. Wow. He's talking about Saul. Mm -hmm. He said, either he will come and he will die mm -hmm. or he will go to battle and perish. Wow. And I was like, okay, Lord, okay, what are you saying? I get it. You're going to fight my battle. Mm -hmm. God said three things can happen. Mm -hmm. Either God will smite him down mm -hmm. is what David was saying. Mm-hmm. He'll die basically of old age. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he will become a, mem a memory. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> or the third thing, uh -huh. he said he will die in battle, his own actions. Mm. And we have to be careful about our own actions. Mm -hmm. I know my grandmother used to say, if you dig a ditch, you better dig, dig two. two of them. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Because your own action will lead to your demise. Wow. So be careful who you put your mouth on. Mm -hmm. Be careful who you talk about. Mm -hmm. Be careful what dick, ditch you dig for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Because you might just fall into that. Wow. So t the best thing to do is, we keep saying it, take the high road. Take the high road. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Mm. Give it to God. Lord, you know they were, they were wrong. Mm -hmm. Pray about it. Mm. Lord, you know. And I trust and believe that you will handle it. Mm. You will fight my battles. Mm. What do you think? No, you, 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 <laughs> you, you flowing now. Right. Yeah, you flowing now. I, I'm serious. God will take care of it. Yeah. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Mm -hmm. And we all have been called and anointed to do a work for the Lord. I just believe David was shining. You think so? He was shining. Okay. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, he, he, his light was shining. Yes. What the, what the women said? That's true. <laughs> what, what, they, what they say? They said Saul killed a thousand. Uh-huh. But David killed ten thousand. Uh-huh. And, and that, when that jealousy jumped in his heart. That's home. it. That's yeah. it. He was shining. Right. See, that, that, that light, what that light does, mm -hmm. it attracts mm. and it also pushes people away. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Jonathan was Saul's son. That's true. That's true. But David liked. Right. It attracted. It did. The son of the king. It, exactly. You see what I'm saying? It did. And, 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 and also, light, when you shine it, mm -hmm. it began, uh, it, it, it made people begin to throw shade on you. Mm-hmm. Okay. When the sun is shining, you go try to find shade. Yes, you do. That's and that's true. exactly what Saul was. He was right. shade. He was shade. Wow. He was shade. Throwing shade on, on David. Right. Trying to trying to trying to trying to kill David. Right. If you really think about it, not only did God put Saul's life in jeopardy. Okay. When he put a deep sleep. Mm -hmm. He did. And allowed David to come in. He exactly. could David could have killed him. That's true, he could have. But God also put David life in jeopardy. Okay. Because Saul was hunting David. He was. So if if, if David weren't allowed to kill Saul, the anointed one, 
that allows Saul to go back and rehunt David to kill. That. See, though, you, you ain't catching it. You got to catch on. You see, you, you see, okay. both anointed. Make it plain. Yeah. <laughs> both both anointed. anointed. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's something called season. Jesus. And see, and see, uh, 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 Saul was anointed for a specific season. Yes. And David knew this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. David knew his season. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Wow. So, so what I get out of this story is trust God. That's it. That's it. Live with your eyes closed. Jesus. Because your sight is your enemy. Jesus. The Bible said we walk by faith and not by sight. It does. The Bible, see what you see, you begin to understand. Mm. Is, is you okay. with me? What you see, you begin right. to understand. Right. But 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 God said, lean not to your own understanding. Sometimes we gotta just live with our eyes closed. Mm. Close Jesus. your eyes. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta live without because right. our sight is our enemy. Jesus. Is you That's with me good. on that? That's good. And and, 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 and David. He got a hold of some that I feel like all believers should be able to grasp or okay. should grasp. What? Trust in the Lord, in the Lord. with all your heart. That's why, he, that's why he was a man after God's own heart. He was. Because he trusted in God with all his heart. Jesus. She's not waking up.